All right, so for today's review, we are going to be taking a look at the Diecast Masters Cat 309 CR excavator or mini excavator 1 to 50 scale. This is part of the Highline series from Diecast Masters. Um, so it will come in a tin, a nice metal tin. Uh, and as you see here, the model comes with four different attachments. You got the standard digging bucket, you got the ditching bucket, the mulching head, and the auger. So we'll get those out of the way and we'll bring those back later. And then we'll start the review off here. So starting off with here. You can see, you got some nice details on here on the cab. You got a nice handrail uh, that I believe is a part of the casting right there. Um, got a nice mirror that is plastic right here. The color match is kind of off. This is like a gloss black on the cab, and this is more of a flat black. Uh, but it does have a silvered surface, as you can see right there. You can kind of see some details where they modeled the door latch and stuff like that. And then coming to here, you get to, you can see you got a nice 309 decal right there, high flow decal right there. You got a panel modeled somewhat in the casting right there as well. And you can see you got a nice view into your cab. You can see the cat on the back of the seat. You can also see all your joysticks and levers uh, and stuff like that. And then coming to the rear of the machine, uh, you can see you got a simulated uh, engine panel right here with some simulated venting or, or some mesh work right there. And your little latch simulated right there in the casting as well. Uh, you got some warning decals right there uh, as well. And then I'm not sure if these are bolt decal details to bolt a little bit of counterweight or extra counterweight onto the model, but they are modeled very nicely. You can see you got a nice cat logo right here, and you got a hinge right here. I do believe this compartment does open up uh, to help service part of the engine, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, you can see you got a nice tiny exhaust right there uh, as well. And uh, then you got a mirror right there uh, as well. And then coming to this side of the model, see so you got another engine door panel uh, detail right there in the casting. You got your nice 309 CR decal right there with another little latch simulator right there. Got your high flow decal right there. And then you do have this plastic handrail uh, right here. Um, it's kind of flimsy, uh, so you want to be careful with that. And then up on top of the model, it's kind of... Uh, it's, it's kind of simple. Um, like I said, your exhaust is right there. Um, there's like no texturing or anything or any details really on the top. And um, then you got your filler caps right there uh, as well. Uh, and then coming to the front of the machine, you can see you got a better view into your cab right there. Um, that's really about it for the fun for the detail on the car body. So we'll zoom out here. Now, when you buy the model, it does not come with a thumb. I picked this thumb up off of Shapeways. It is made by JW Scale Models, uh, but the model does come with a thumb mount modeled on here, so it's very easy. It's a very easy kit to assemble. So we'll get to a little bit of that in a minute. So we'll get to some of the functionality uh, while we're here. Um, so your stick goes out. As you can see, it will go out that far, uh, which is nice. And then it will only come in to about there. Now, the one thing about this model is there are some stoppers. Uh, if I could flip it around. I could show you, you can see the stoppers, they're, modeled, they're right there, that prevent the boom from coming in. I believe it is um, because of the, if the were to bring the boom in any further, the cylinder would pop out. So I believe that is to prevent the cylinder from popping out. Um, but your boom goes up to there, uh, and then it will dig down to about there, uh, which is pretty nice. Holds the machine up off the ground. Um, so if you want to have this um, like in a small trenching dial, you could. Uh, it would look re pretty realistic. Um, and then your stick, your bucket cylinder goes back about there. Now, the one thing on my model is this cylinder is super stiff, so I have to, I have to be very careful not to break anything. Um, so when I grab it, I just kind of put some pressure on the coupler, and then once I get it to go, as you can see, the bucket likes to pop out um, since that cylinder is real stiff. Uh, Got to give it to pop back in. There we go. Uh, and then your cylinder will go into about there, uh, which is fairly nice uh, as well. Uh, and then you do, your boom does go side to side, so it can go to about that far to one side and about that far to the other side, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then you do have some rubber tracks on the model. Uh, this one, it appears that they have set, it's been sitting for a little bit, so the tracks are kind of wanting to hold a shape, uh, as you can see there. Uh, it just kind of wants to hold its original shape. Um, but while we're on the undercarriage, you see you got some nice decals right there. Uh, it's a pretty simple undercarriage, some basic roller detail. Not much detail on your sprocket, just a couple of pl plastic pieces. Uh, and then you can see you got a nice blade right here. You got a somewhat of a detailed cutting edge on there. And the blade goes down to there. That's about as far down as the blade will go. Um, but it will raise up to about there, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, like I said, this thumb is an add-on. Uh, it's on Shapeways from JW Scale Models. I believe the whole kit, before you add shipping and tax, 
uh, is like $13, $14, somewhere around there. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool kit. Uh, you get the thumb, the cylinder, and the cylinder jacket uh, as well. And then you just have to paint it uh, and assemble it, uh, which is nice and does have some pretty good functionality. Um, so the thumb will go down to about there before it pops out of the cylinder jacket, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, and it does line up with the teeth on the bucket uh, as well, which is pretty cool. As you can see right there, it will line up with the teeth. So if you wanted to have it posing, picking up some brush or something, you could. Uh, and then, it, you know, the cylinder and everything, once you paint it and everything, uh, it doesn't have a problem holding any position you'd want. So if you only wanted to have it down like that, or if you wanted to have it down like you were clearing, you could do that as well. Uh, the cylinder is pretty pretty nice on the model. Um, so that's, 30, that's the 309. Like I said, it does come with attachments. You can see here, you have a ditching bucket that doesn't really have some that much detail on it. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be some bolting de bolt details that kind of got covered up by the paint, um, but there's no cutting edge detail or anything. As you can see, that there's a little thick on the paint there. Um, there's no wear plating on the bottom uh, at all as well, but you do get a ditching bucket, which is nice. You do get this auger. Um, this is the Pla this is all plastic, so you do have to be very careful because uh, it is kind of easy to bend it. Uh, as you can see, mine's kind of slightly bent. Uh, it's leaning off to one side. That's just how it is when I pulled it out of the box. Um, so you do get that, and then you do get this mulcher, uh, which is pretty nice. It's a pretty nice little piece. Uh, you can see you got a silver cutting head right there, and it does spin uh, as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then you got like a simulated guard right here, but the paintwork's kind of uh, a little thick on there, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, they all do click into the coupler, uh, which is nice. Um, but overall, uh, this is a pretty nice little model from Diecast Masters. You can get the, I believe the 309 and the 308 are almost about the same. I don't have the 308, um, but if you're looking to pick yourself up a mini excavator, I could recommend this one. Um, the one downside to this model is they didn't do any hydraulic detailing on the boom and stick, so it is plain. Um, so if you do want to put a thumb on there, you, you can't really run any hydraulics to it because uh, there's nothing to run it to. Um, so you just got to be mindful of that when you buy the model. It's not going to have hydraulics um, like some of the other Caterpillar excavators that Deck as a Masters has released. Um, but that's something that can easily be fixed uh, if you want to put the time and effort into it. Um, but other than that, that's it for this review. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you'd like to follow my social media, both links are in the description. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.